So the number one reason why people are moving to Louisville, Kentucky is affordable housing. And we are literally talking about the median price of a home is under 300000 Uh What you can get- Say that one more time for the people in the back. For the people right, in the back I in the pews that are not hearing you. Median, one more time, that price range. The median price, the average price is- uh, is roughly around three hundred thousand dollars. So what that does is it okay. gets you a very nice property that you and your you know it, it fits. It, it's a great price point whether you are p- coupled and have a family, or if you're by yourself, or you if you have a small family. If you want mature trees, or if you want something that's a little bit more denser. Uh, like our downtown area or our what we call our new Lou area, which is uh, which has a lot of amenities and a lot of great urban spaces. So there's something right. for everyone here. Let's talk about what you just mentioned that that last part. What can you dive deeper in that? What can people All expect right, in so, those amenities? Uh, so what's what's super cool is that our area supports several schools. So you have. Uh, so you have our what, a major school is University of Louisville, go Cards, right? And so we have uh, the <laughs> University of Louisville and, uh, and and our and our championship program, our football program, our basketball program. It be, brings a lot of people here. We also support Bellarmine University. Uh, the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary is here. So a lot of wow. individuals that are pursuing that life path. They, t- they they tend to come in town and pursue that particular path and they live, work, play in Louisville. Uh, there is also uh, several uh, opportunities. Uh, Norton Healthcare, Humana, uh, the insurance company, Kroger. I don't know if you guys have Kroger uh, in we, the we, East We have there. Kroger. Okay, yeah, excellent. Uh, uh, Baptist Healthcare, system, they all have national or regional headquarters in our city. That is good to know. So basically, if they are thinking about moving, there is job opportunity out there. There is school opportunity. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, Now, for different people that are moving for different reasons, we kind of touched upon it. uh, People getting married, people going to school. Uh, For the retirees who pretty much don't want to shovel anymore, is this a primary for them to go to? And do you have like one level the places for them to live in. So I definitely, I appreciate you bringing that up because we are, they consider Kentucky the front porch of the South. Okay. So that's a, uh, it's really interesting because you do see seasonality here. You get four seasons here. There are, there is winter. It's not nearly as brutal as say up North. I'm originally from Michigan. So those, those, and I can only imagine uh, winter in New York. It has to be intense. And <laughs> some some days, yes. Some days, yes. Some days, no. we've been lucky for the last two years, but we don't know how long that's going to last. But continue. Okay, fair, en- <laughs> fair enough. And so there is some seasonality. So what's really interesting is that snow typically does not uh, reach uh, our area until January. So it, it tends That's to not even snow until January, which is so there's not always a guarantee that you will see a white Christmas, which is really interesting because coming from the north, you typically always see a white Christmas. And so, uh, however, uh, it does get very hot down here. We did have triple digit weather uh, for we, we about average around maybe two to three weeks a year where the where the where the numbers are in the triple digits. And so. That can be 99, 100, 102, and it gets a little intense. Other than that, you are seeing some real seasonality here. So you don't have to worry about, okay, wow, is it just all hot all the time? Is it cold all the time? There is a blend of all four seasons. 